Welcome to this QuickBooks 2021 tutorial for beginners, how to print checks in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I get a lot of questions from people about, you know, the proper way to print checks and how to print checks uh, in QuickBooks because there is certain alignment and setup you got to do. And so what I want to do in this video is just walk you through that process. Okay. Now, the way that you get checks into the print queue, if you want to call it that, uh, in QuickBooks is, you know, there's a couple different ways. I mean, you can go to banking, you know, write checks. And, you know, as soon as you put all this up here, you can say print later. Uh, you can also print it immediately, you know, as you're putting this in. Uh, we're going to focus on this print later because I want to show you where to go uh, once you get all these checks. You know, so what most business owners, what most people do is, you know, they'll, you know, pay multiple bills and say, you know, print later and put them all together so they can print them all at one time instead of having to, you know, pay one bill, print a check or write a check, print it, etc. So you want to just get them into this, this print queue so you can print them all at one time. Okay, so this is one way you could do this. You can also go to vendors, uh, pay bills, and, you know, you'll see if you check off, you know, let's say we're going to pay these bills. Uh, you can go down here and say, instead of assign check number, you say to be printed. And once you check this and say pay selected bill, so if I pay these bills, okay, you're going to see that it gives you this summary and you can go to print checks from here, okay? But if you have uh, checks like in that, you know, write the check screen and you've got the pay bills and you've got other checks you want to do, uh, you can just go done out of that. And let's see, we'll close that out, take us back to the home screen. Okay, so we've got our checks. We're getting ready to print these things. The first thing that you're going to need to do to print checks in QuickBooks is go to this file drop down menu and go down to printer setup. Okay. So in this printer setup, you're going to see that you can choose all these different options here. You know, you can scroll up and it's, these are settings for all the different things uh, that you can um, print out of QuickBooks. And so we're going to choose check, paycheck. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, these are the settings and these are default settings. Okay. Uh, so every time you go to print checks, it's going to go to these defaults. You can change some of these things when you go to the file drop down menu and say print forms. I'll show you that in just a minute. All right. So default printer name, the printer type, uh, generally that should come up automatically. Uh, the important things to look at here are, you know, you got to choose your check type. All right. So when you have checks in QuickBooks, QuickBooks is not going to print uh, the check per se. Okay, so what QuickBooks will do is you have to have a pre-printed check stock. And usually these are eight and a half by 11 sheets of uh, paper that, you know, specific check stock paper uh, that has, uh, you know, potentially uh, your name and logo on them. And they've got all the basic information on them. And then you put those into your printer and QuickBooks, you know, will print all of the fields. All right. So the most common, you know, the most common that I see is this voucher type. Okay. So it's got one check at the top. You can see that here. Then it's got two check stubs. So you send the check and this first stub to the vendor and this bottom one you keep for your records. All right. Or you could have these standard checks where there's just three checks per page and uh, no stubs, or you could have wallet checks. All right, so you're going to choose which one that you do. Now, if you choose wallet, it's going to say, you know, to avoid printing problems, be sure to check the wallet check type. Okay, so when you click OK, you've got to choose the wallet check type. Is this traditional or this check 21? All right, so just be careful with that. Now, I'm going to go back to voucher, and you can over here say print company name and address. Uh, use logo, but then you're going to have to upload your logo in the QuickBooks. Uh, you can also print a signature image, which again, you're going to have to upload into QuickBooks. Now, generally, um, I don't do this only because I've got pre-printed check stock and this pre-printed check stock uh, already has my name and address and logo and all that kind of stuff on it. All right. So that, first of all, you got to choose that. Now, if you go over to this other tab here, fonts, you can change fonts on some parts of the check. And if you want to do that, you can do that here. Okay. Uh, you can also do that with the address. All right. 
Now, final tab here is partial page. All right, so if you have a partial page of checks, this wouldn't necessarily apply to the voucher check only because, um, you know, it's got the one check by default. But let's say you've got, uh, let me go back over here, you've got the standard and there's only two checks on here. All right, you're going to go over here and say partial page. And uh, you're going to make sure that you use your printer's envelope feeder to feed that in there. You don't want to put it just in the, the, the paper tray, so to speak. All right. And then you have to uh, select the button corresponding to the way your printer feeds envelopes. You're going to have to look that up on your printer. All right. Let me go back over here to settings. Okay. So now go over here. Now, this is extremely important. Uh, align. Okay. Now, what Align does is this aligns up the printing to your pre-printed check stock. So when we click this, it's going to bring up this box, and you say click Print Sample to use the alignment grid. So what you're going to do is you're going to print a sample page, and this is going to print something off your printer. It's just like a, a sample check, the way it's going to print from QuickBooks. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold a blank check, the check stock, up against where it's printing and look up to the light to see if it's aligned up. Now to make sure that it's not going through some lines or to make sure it's printing in the right boxes for the numbers, etc., you want to make sure that it's aligned to your actual checks. And the way you're going to fix that, all right, is if it needs to go um, to the left or right, all right, you're going to do this or it can go negative. And the same with horizontal, okay? All right, so what you're going to do is play with this to see how it lines up to your check. Print a sample, adjust it again, print a sample, adjust it again. Make sure that you get it so it aligns with your check stock. Very, very important. Otherwise, you're going to get some funky looking checks. All right, now you can also hit logo here. You can do signature. It's going to do the same thing. Uh, as using logo, you got to upload these and then you're going to click OK. All right, so you got your printer settings. Now we're going to go print our checks. And this is really simple to do. You're just going to go to File, Print Forms, Checks. And you're going to see here that it's got all these check, check marks next to all the checks that need to print. Now, if you don't want to print them all, you can click Select None and just choose the ones that you want to print. Uh, or you can just select all if you're going to print all of them. All right, first check number, you want to make sure that this matches the first check number on your check stock that's going to be printed. Then what you're going to do, you're going to put your uh, check stock into the printer, and you're going to click OK, and it's going to print these checks. All right, and then you're done, and it's going to clear them out of the queue. So that next time uh, you go to print checks, it's gonna, it should put the next check number in there and you should be good to go. All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Happy to answer those for you. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and again, any questions, happy to answer those for you.